Hi there, x Plane Dedicated. Wycliffe Barrett here. Uh, Star Wars was last Friday. Brilliant film. I'll see you after the intro. Number 180 Bravo Bravo with it. Number 180 Bravo Bravo. Good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014. Bravo Bravo. Good Bravo Bravo. Understand you're going for 60. So climb not above, initially not above 4,000 feet on the QH 1014. 4,000 feet. Bravo Bravo. Correct. What's your request of routing? Uh, let's go and then direct. Right, ready, ready, Hi guys, well it's coming up to Christmas, there's an awful lot to talk about, uh, there's an awful lot going on as usual, but also it's that time of the year where there's a little bit of madness creeping in. So this is going to be the last vlog for me until the new year. One thing I will say though is that just lately, the last few days, I've really kind of questioned whether I should uh, continue vlogging and going on YouTube. Every once in a while you have doubts about yourself. But I've been talking to a couple of friends, a couple of other YouTubers, and they've said, just carry on. Just carry on what you're doing. People like it. So uh, I'm going to carry on. And um, one thing I will tell you is that, funnily enough, my Flight Factor 767 Cold and Dark video that I did last week um, is the second video to hit over a thousand views in a few days. So it must be doing something right. So let's move on and uh, straight away what I want to talk about is the some pre-wear items around, um, some scenery, not so much about aircraft uh, on this vlog but one piece of scenery that's just come out recently is called Epoch Passage Aviation Territory Phase 1 and this is in uh, the northwest of Canada. If you like bush flying you've got to get this. It's absolutely brilliant, it's free of course and it's developed on uh, some ultra high definition photo scenery which covers over 5,400 square miles and within it are 22 float plane airports if you can call them that, float plane strips on lake. It's absolutely superb Herb. There's a 100 page plus user experience guide because what has also been built into this package is like an adventure. It's incredible, there's so much work has into this. It has this adventure package where you can take up a career as a VA pilot out in uh, the northwest Pacific there in the in mountains through Alaska. Once again it's free where it uses huge amounts of photo scenery and, and you can get it on explain.org. Just staying with the photo scenery aspect of uh, explain for a short while once again on explain.org you can get the Spain UHD photo scenery package once again this is HD mesh and high resolution uh, photo scenery that's been put together in one package to download it covers the whole of Spain and it's a huge amount. I think it comes to something like 330 gigabytes if you want to download it. I know a couple of people who have been downloading it and it's taken them quite a, a, a number of days. Uh, a lot will depend on your download speeds etc etc. But uh, an excellent package. It's free and there's nothing better than free as we say. To go along with that uh, our friend TDG has created a new airport and somehow he manages to get these airports out at a phenomenal rate but what TDG also does is he only uses uh, Lego systems so there, there are very rarely any custom built buildings in his airports but what he does he manages to put things together and it really comes up with some credible airports. The latest one he's done is LEZL which is Seville. Uh, it's a nice little, um, nice little airport and once again, as I say, he's put objects together to create other objects and he's done this in a very, very believable fashion. And so the tiny Seville airport looks really, really good. Place that on top of this Spanish UHD photo scenery that I just mentioned and it really does look something quite special. <clears throat> just as we know in the last eight days or so, or ten days, the MD-80 came out by Rotate Sim, and the Flight Factor 767 came out and there are numerous repaints all over explain.org in lots of different other places as well. One day I'm going to put a list together of kind of as many explain resources I can think of and we'll put those up one day, I, I must do that. Uh, so there's repaints for the Rotate Sim MD-80, there's repaints for the FF767 already but also 
through the 767 there's an update so it's already been updated I don't think it's been out yet a week it's already been updated go to the store uh, where you bought it from and download it again and you'll be downloading the latest version of the 767 there's been a number of minor bug fixes in it uh, I haven't read it yet myself and I haven't downloaded it myself yet but I'll be doing that a bit later so we'll all know about that at the same time just as we come to the close of this vlog <clears throat> there's no sign yet of the 737 from IXEG but it's getting close we know it's getting close because they're releasing loads of videos they're releasing loads of screenshots and it you know even they, they even put up a post the other day explaining what isn't in the package which is a very brave move but I think they wanted to be up front and let people know that certain things were not in, were not working etc but that they planned on doing them one of them was no TCAS which will be a little bit uh, of a shocker to some people especially those people who were upset about the MB80 not having TCAS or maybe but then again the IXEG is such a complete package it, it won't matter but a very interesting post from them uh, who knows when it's going to be ready certainly not before Christmas I don't think before Christmas I don't know but I don't think before Christmas um, there's no sign of the X737 from EADT yet um, but as a beta tester I've been given new screenshots I'm not going to say anything about those um, I'm going to stick rigorously to the NBA as I said I would but there are new screenshots uh, and it just gets the, the, the VC cockpit looks better and better all the time as we know the 2D cockpit is fine the external modelling of the aircraft is great and that flies perfectly well the VC is what has been developed and what we've been beta testing uh, which makes it a really complete package and it looks fantastic uh, but I'm not going to say any more about that anyway it's coming up towards Christmas we've got Christmas in a few days I've been out and about in Cardiff and I just thought I'd put a little piece of film on the end of this vlog which is totally unconnected with X-Plane but it's something else that I kind of do every now and again and if you're ever in Cardiff you never know you might actually get to see this place so Merry Christmas from me everybody else at XPD all the admins and the people who work behind in the scenes we'll see you all in the new year take care okay so we're here at uh, Pizza Pronto Pizza Pronto here in Cardiff Bay it's a new enterprise open by my name's uh, Simeon. Hiya Simeon, how are you? I'm good. How it's, long have you been open then? We've been open about uh, six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah, it's our second shop. We've got one over in Panath that oh. we started with. Really? Um, we uh, are expanding. We're looking at card. We're looking at the Hayes now as well. Cool. For, for our next one for the summer next year. Brilliant. Uh, and how's business? Fantastic. It's yeah? really good. Yeah. We've got um, a big uh, social media um, number of people who come and... Uh, yeah come down to see us right um, our pizzas are, we're in the top 10 to eat pizza in Cardiff cool um, we make all we make all our own dough brilliant um, there's only five ingredients in our dough flour I get imported from Italy yeah uh, extra virgin olive oil that comes from Italy yeah um, fresh baker's yeast Brilliant. The finest table salt you can get. That sounds and, good. And the local water. Well, you which, can't get better than that. The, that combination is, it's, there's no additives in there. Yeah. We pride ourselves on our quality. Yeah. Um, we want our customers to have a fantastic experience when they come to, to have their pizzas with us. Yeah. We um, like, just looking at your prices here, I mean, really, what size are we talking about? That's an eight inch pizza there. Yeah, it's an eight inch oval. Just saw one going out. Yeah, there. It's, it's about that size oval. Yeah, cook them all for you. Yeah, there's none. You know, if you come, it's all fresh. It's all fresh. I you love your van. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I like that. This is your sick ride, is it? Yeah, that's right. It's a bit, I've got bad back and it's a bit rough on my back. <laughs> you need a Land Rover Discovery for them. Well, they're I mean, the best things for a bad back. I need, I need to sell some more pizza. <laughs> So here we are, brilliant. Um, I like this kind of stuff. You, you can walk around Cardiff, there's all sorts of pop ups, beautiful food everywhere. This is brilliant, I really like it. And it's made out of, it's look, it looks like container. a container, it's a shipping yeah. container. Brilliant. This is um, our shop in Penarth, is smaller than this. Really? Um, this, we, we were lucky enough to, to get this and we uh, fabricated it off site. Yeah. Um, when we put it in, we literally dropped it in because we had all the utilities ready to go. Yeah. We were ready to go within two hours of it being dropped. Plug and in. go. 
That's right. Plug and play. <laughs> that's that's the trick to it. We, yeah. we um, our business model is that we have small units. Yeah. Um, so they're low overheads, and that's why we can keep our prices so low. But thanks, um, Simeon. Thank you very much. I love the kitchen. Yep. Looks great. It's nice and clean, which is what we always want. A bit of flour oh, yeah. over there. Yeah, well, you've got to have flour. Got to have flour for yeah, your pizza. Yeah, although it's expensive. It's expensive. It's the top quality yeah. flour you can get. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Simeon. And uh, when I get time, I'll be, I'll be coming and having pizza with you. Yeah. I'm going to watch the Star Wars now, so. Oh, you lucky man. I'm going to pick my wife up and we're going to go and watch Star Wars. Where will it? Are you... This will be on. This will be on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, right. What I'll do is I'll. Can I'll I find my email address. Please do. Yeah. So Simeon's just going to get his email address. We're not going to put it on film because we don't want him being uh, spammed. But he's going to give me his email address, and we'll put it somewhere. And and sorry, who's the other guy down the back there? Who's the chef down the back? That's, um, I'm Tom. Sorry. I'm Tom. This is Tom. That's my nephew. My, my, my nephew. Well, we'll keep it in the family. The, can you see the resemblance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we could be brothers as well, you know yeah. what I mean? You, look. you, know, you know what they say, no grass <laughs> grows on a busy street. That's true. I the like that one. The other I'm... one I've heard, men that go bald at the front yeah. are great thinkers. All right. Men that, men that go bald at the back are yeah. great lovers. We're screwed. Men, <laughs> men that go bald all over think they're great lovers. <laughs> It's that one there, Ravioti. I better not say it. No, 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 don't say it on camera. Well, thank you very much, Simon. A real pleasure Sorry, meeting what was you. Your name? My name's Wycliffe. Nice to meet you, Wycliffe. All right, take care. Take care and have a good Christmas. And you. And I'll have pizza from you very soon. Come and try it. All right, see you guys. Yeah, bye.